Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video we are going to be talking about everything that's been teased for fall 2021 at Bath & Body Works. I know you guys are just as excited as I am. I love fall and fall is literally like I thrive. Once August hits, I'm pretty much like my birthday is the second. So I usually will go and do like a haul for my birthday of the new fall stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. There's been so much stuff um, recently dropping on like Instagram being teased and everything. So I just want to go through everything and then we're going to touch on, I have a few things in front of me from last fall, um, that I just kind of want to like show you guys and just like think about when we're thinking about the scents for this year, but there's been a lot of stuff teased and honestly, most of it is on life inside the page daily finds, um, blog. So you need to go follow her. Um, the link to her blog is in her Instagram page and there's so much good stuff in there. You guys really need, need to go look. Um, but I am just going to basically be saying a bunch of the stuff from there and anything that's been on Instagram. Um, also, I want to mention I'm like in a little different of a setting. I'm just using my phone propped up on like a little stand and I just got off work. So I'm like not even, <laughs> I'm not even like fully made up and you're a little lower than usual. But anyways, we're, we're still doing the video because I really just want to talk to you guys about fall. You guys know fall is my favorite. I'm sure if you're watching this video, then you love it too, or you're at least interested in seeing what is going to come out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I had to take off the jacket because I'm getting too hot, but um, I do have my laptop pulled up next to me and I'm just on Life Inside the Page Daily Finds blog. And so the first thing that happened that made everybody go crazy freaking out about um, Halloween, actually, not even just fall, Halloween, um, was they teased it on the app for reward members and they teased like a little Halloween kind of like gif and it had some really cute stuff in it. So um, this was on June 18th, they premiered this and um, the video had some tombstones with different names of different soaps and stuff on here. So I'm just reading off of her blog. Um, pocket back holders, so there's a little ghost kitty, very cute hand sanitizer in vampire blood, ghoul friend, and perfect pumpkin. Those come out every year. Hand soaps in vampire blood, ghoul friend, perfect pumpkin, and with wicked apple. I think wicked apple um, just came out last year for the first time. There's a wallflower unit. It's the vampire pup nightlight plug. It's a little chihuahua. That's really cute. I think that's adorable. And then um, accessories. There's a glass skull three wick pedestal. It actually looks like a vase to me. Like you put the the um, candle inside of the vase. So that looks really cool. Um, a bat through pedestal. It's kind of like cartoony um, glittery bat. Really cute. And um, a black cat three wick accessory. Says probably a metal sleeve. So maybe this is one of the ones that's like the filigree one designs and it has like a black cat on it. That's what I'm thinking. They did that with like the bats last year. Um, body care. There might be Halloween body care in Wicked Apple. That would be really cool. I think it just smell like green apple probably. Three wick candles in vampire blood, ghoul friend, pumpkin carving, which they haven't come out with in a few years, but it is basically the same thing as sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Um, haunted night, which I'm not sure what that would be, and wicked apple again. And then single wick candles in wicked apple, vampire blood, ghoul friend, and pumpkin carving. So that's kind of like the first sneak peek that we got of Halloween. And then, um, the garden retreat collection for hand soaps came out so this is basically i think it's going to be like one of the transitional early fall kind of collections but it's just like a soap collection with some basic scents that we have that are just repeats white tea and sage sun citrus wild lavender mint blackberries and basil and garden harvest i think garden harvest is new it's apple blossom garden mint and sandalwood probably won't pick that up but the packaging is nice it definitely reminds me of fall makes me feel kind of warm um, so that's nice. Um, and then a potential summer three floor set. And um, the dates for that are July 6th through July 11th, subject to change, with fall wallflower bulbs um, in white pumpkin, champagne, apple, and honey, perfect autumn, and honey wildflower, which is a new body care collection for the fall. It's going to basically be like the um, sunflower collection that they had last fall 
that's going to be honey wildflower so we don't have yet the scent notes for honey wildflower but it is going to be out in a lot of forms pretty much every single form there's even the um there's even the body butter a roll-on fragrance and it looks like it has little dried flowers in it really really pretty and they do have it in the candle so i'm excited to smell that I probably won't pick it up because I'm not a big floral fan, but it looks really, really gorgeous. I do like the packaging on that. So now we're moving on to the Floor Set 3 candles. And um, starting off, we have Fresh Air Luminaries candles, Cinnamon Stick, Crisp Morning Air and Fall Farmhouse, Fresh Air Messaging candles in Pumpkin Spice, Fresh Air Transportative candles collection in Fall Farmhouse, Fresh Air Transportative candles in Perfect Autumn, Sweater Weather, Harvest Gathering, and Fresh Fall Morning. I think the transportative ones are the ones that usually have like the destination pictures on them. I'm assuming maybe. Fresh Air Bandana Candles in Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Fireside, Dark Blue Night, Harvest Pomegranate, and Autumn Adventure. Um, single Wicks in the Fresh Air Color Run Candles, Harvest Gathering, Frozen Lake, Autumn Woods, Cozy Cashmere, Sweet Center and Pumpkin, and Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Um, fresh air candles in the single wick leaves, sweater weather, flannel, cranberry woods, and harvest pomegranate, green hydration aromatherapy body care, uh, hemp seed, sage, and mint, aloe, orange, and sandalwood, and tea tree and lavender. And then we move on to body care. So the 21st, you posted fall fresh baked body care collection. So we have pictures. Well, yeah, we have pictures of all of them. Okay. So the first one is strawberry pound cake coming out again in every single form you can think of. Um, I I really like this packaging. I think it's adorable. Uh, I love it. It's so cute. It reminds me of strawberry shortcake. It's adorable. So, so, so darling. They've been killing it with the like fall um, bakery collections. Like last year's packaging was so cute. Just gonna pull it up because I have it right here, but Sugar Cherry Crisp and Vanilla Mocha Cafe in like the cafe collection. So cute, so darling. I love the packaging on these. I think they've been knocking out of the park with the like fall bakery line packaging. Adorable. So that's the first scent. And then we have Coconut Candy Apple, which to be honest with you, I think it's just gonna be Winter Candy Apple. I don't think it's gonna be any different. She doesn't list the notes on here, um, but it's available in quite a lot of scents. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not a big coconut person though, um, so I guess we'll see. I'll definitely smell it, but meh. And then of course, pumpkin pecan waffles, you guys. So if you haven't heard, they did come out with pumpkin pecan waffles in a um, bath, what's it called? In a bubble bath form in like 2017 or something, I think, maybe even earlier than that. And then they never came out with it again. So you're lucky if you ever got to experience that but they are bringing out pumpkin pecan waffles only in four forms this fall. So I have been told that it smells very syrupy, um, kind of similar to berry waffle cone. My friend Pinky in the Scents on Instagram, she actually found it in her stores. Let me go pull up her page because she has like, she found marshmallow pumpkin latte, my bad, um, in the same line in her store. But she said it's, it, she heard that it smells like syrup so very excited about that we'll see i love a good bakery like really gourmand scent in the fall oh it's so good and then of course marshmallow pumpkin latte in pretty much every form i think just as many forms as strawberry pound cake um since it is so popular i'm not really surprised i'm not a marshmallow pumpkin latte fan though so i will pass on that but very excited definitely gonna pick up pumpkin pecan waffles in the body care and i'll smell the the coconut candy apple but I don't have high expectations for it and then we move on to kind of the white barn style fall candles so they are going to be that milky finish um, I don't think it's going to be the matte one like we had before because that packaging just didn't really work raspberry mosa is coming out again salted butterscotch pumpkin apple autumn woods pumpkin vanilla cream frozen lake sweater weather white pumpkin and spiced cinnamon so the first picture is of Sweater Weather, White Pumpkin, and Spice Cinnamon. Spice Cinnamon, I wonder if it's the same as like the Kitchen Cinnamon, I think is what it's called. Um, or the Red Hot Cinnamon, I wonder, but I'm not too sure. Um, and then these are really pretty. I like this like plain packaging. I think it's so chic. 
I definitely wanted to pick up pumpkin vanilla cream last year, which is basically pumpkin pie, uh, but I didn't, so I might pick that up this year. And then more in the matte finish, actually. There's tons of them, oh my goodness. So we have Cozy Cashmere, which I'm actually very curious about. I do like a good cashmere scent. Vanilla Bean, Whipped Coffee's coming back, Mahogany Teakwood, and then Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity, Eucalyptus Mint, Lakeside Morning, White Gardenia, Sun Drenched Linen, Bergamot Waters, Blue, no, Midnight Blue Citrus, Black Cherry Merlot, Lavender Bo Bergamot, um, Cactus Blossom, Strawberry Pound Cake, Iced Dragon Fruit Tea, that sounds really cool. Rosewater and Ivy, Champagne Toast, Peach Bellini, Pumpkin Spice Latte, which I had in the single wick last year. And I think I'm gonna pick it up in the three wick this year because that sounds really good. It was really nice. It was kind of like, I didn't really get a lot of um, pumpkin spiciness from it, but I did get kind of a coffee, milky with a little bit of cinnamon. Um, and then the last one in that picture is Sugared Lemon Zest, which is really, really pretty. Um, good if you like the lemon candles. And then for the Garden Retreat collection, we have White Tea and Sage, Sun Washed Citrus, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, Blackberries and Basil, and Champagne Apple and Honey. So Champagne Apple and Honey actually came out for the first time as an online only candle last year, and I did pick it up. Um, so this is what it looks like last year in the packaging. And I loved it so much that I didn't wanna burn the rest of it. But I do have the notes. So Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, and Jasmine Honey. It's amazing if you've ever tried the body care it smells exactly like the body care it is super strong i burned it about down to here and then i realized that if i didn't pick up a backup i wasn't going to burn through this one so i didn't burn through it but now that i know it's coming out again i'll burn through it but just gorgeous and then we had these sunflower lids so beautiful this collection was really really pretty um i think they had almond blossom in this one as well as an almond exclusive so yummy so that's a really good one highly recommend that one and then we have the garden retreat collection which i think also is including that wildflower honey um, we have white lavender eucalyptus vanilla birch and basil green tea and then the finally fall market which i guess is kind of like their bakery candle collection for this year pumpkin apple pumpkin pecan waffles blueberry maple pancakes those ones are like staples they come out every year um, pineapple pound cake that sounds new I probably won't pick it up though because by then I won't be wanting like a pineapple kind of summery scent but it's probably a good transition scent um, caramel pumpkin swirl every year vanilla pumpkin marshmallow every year toasted coconut cupcake that sounds really good but I am not a coconut fan but it is really cute I think these are like very very simple packaging I kind of want to see it in stores because I'm not sure if I like it just yet but there's that and then fresh air decor luminary candles I really like this. I think they went off of kind of like this um, leaf packaging. They always do something with leaves every year for fall. So we have pumpkin clove, cranberry woods, leaves, mahogany apple, marshmallow fireside, and flannel. I do kind of want to pick up a marshmallow fireside candle this year. Um, and I do have leaves from 2019 actually. It is so strong that I, I still haven't burned through it. And it's been two years. It's so strong. But if you, like I highly recommend lighting this up and then putting on Halloween Town. That's what I did last year because it gets you in the fall mood for sure. So, so good. So that's it for that um, blog post about the candles. And then we have another body care collection called the Rewilding Body Care Collection. So this one is, I feel like this is an homage to kind of like their 90s packaging. It It's very familiar to me and I don't know why. Um, but we have Champagne Apple and Honey, like I said, comes out every year. It's a really, really good staple scent if you like fresh and fruity. Um, black Raspberry Vanilla, that might be really good because I have a Blackberries and Basil going right now. And if that smells kind of similar, but with the vanilla, oh, that's going to be so good. And then we have Marigold and Cane Sugar. I feel like that one's going to be probably floral, so I won't want it, but I'll smell it. And then white tea and sage, which is not down my alley, but that's that. I think it's pretty, but I really hate when they do um, the packaging for this mist and they cover up the bottle so you can't tell how far you're going. I don't know. I just wish they wouldn't do that, but that's just me being picky, I guess. 
Um, another body care collection is the Home Body Body Care Collection. So the three uh, fragrances are Misty Morning, Afternoon Sunshine, and Cozy Evening. So can't really tell what the scents are, but we have one in pink, Cozy, Cozy Evening. Um, afternoon Sunshine, I'm assuming is gonna have like citrus or something in it and Misty Morning. So we'll have to see what those are like. I hope the cozy one is um, like cashmere scented because that would be really nice. I would pick that up. But that's everything for all like the fall teaser stuff. I'm just gonna go through some of the things that I have from last year um, while I have you guys here and like sniff them with you. But so we sniffed the Champagne Apple and Honey. Sniff it again, it's so, so good. And then we sniffed Leaves. I don't need to sniff that one again because it's very strong. Um, but one of my favorites from last year was the pumpkin donut shop candle. This is actually a second one that I bought off of Mercari um, in like February when I had ran out of my other candle. It's so delicious and they had the pumpkin lids. So cute. The notes are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, sprinkled with powdered sugar. I hope they bring this out again. It's delicious. It's basically, it smells like powdered sugar donuts. It smells like the like Little Debbie's, you get like the pack of them, you know, at the gas station. Oh, so delicious. Absolutely amazing. This is a killer candle. I love it so much. So that's all the candles that I have remaining from the fall. And then body care, I already showed you guys Vanilla Mocha Cafe. I absolutely loved this last year. I had it in the lotion. I had it in the shower gel. I had it in the um, coffee and cream body scrub. It was so good. Mm, it smells amazing. I already sprayed it in the cap earlier because I was sniffing it and I don't have the notes because it doesn't show the notes on the um, spray, but so warm and like sweet, cozy, just a really, really good scent. I loved that one. And then Sugared Cherry Crisp, which I actually just picked up the shower gel at the Summer SAS, but I did have this in the body cream last year and it was so amazing. Absolutely amazing. It smells like cherry pie. Mm. I cannot wait to use this in the shower. It's going to be so good. The notes are bright cherry delight, crumbled graham cracker, and spun vanilla sugar. I'm going to smell it again because I'm literally, mm, it smells so good, but I did not like it in the spray. I will say I thought the spray was very like, um, powdery. So not in a good way. And yeah, but that's that one. I did also pick up a twilight woods shimmer mist. Um, at Winter SAS and it's actually from 2020, but I think this packaging line is from 2019 if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this one's kind of like a fresh scent. I feel like this will be really, really nice on like cold nights. Very looking forward to using this. I literally haven't even used it at all yet. And then the star of the show last year, you guys know, guess down below if you don't know, if I can hold them all up, but white pumpkin and chai. <laughs> this was the star of the show last fall. I have it in every scent. I didn't actually get to use it up yet um, during the fall last year because I was working on so many other different things, but I have the whole set for this fall and I need to really start on the body cream because it's gonna go bad, but oh my gosh, it smells absolutely amazing. So the scent notes on this are cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. I think it really smells like pumpkin cider and the packaging is just stunning. So beautiful. I love, I love how they packaged it. And then we have the lotion, which also smells really good. Not as strong as the, um, the body cream or not as creamy either. The shower gel, whoo, which is like super cidery, very pumpkin, like wow that's crazy and then the spray which i actually haven't sprayed it yet so let's spray that which i think i used this actually um on thanksgiving last year but look how gorgeous the packaging is um they have a little pumpkin down here a little latte it's just so pretty little birdie i think they did a really good job with the fall line last year mm. That smells amazing. And this is definitely like warmer. I feel like it's not as pumpkin-y as the shower gel, but oh my goodness, smells so good. So this collection, I will be using this year. I'm actually gonna put some hand cream on, to be honest with you. Um, 
because it smells so good. And I'm ready for fall, you guys. I know it's only June. We have to get through summer first, but. Mmm. Oh, it might be going bad. Hold on. Oh, it might be going bad. Ooh. Oh, no. Lesson learned, guys. Use your body creams up in the same season that you get them. Because it does kind of smell like it might be going bad. Oh, I'm so devastated. Are you kidding me? It smells like sausage. Wait, what? That's weird. Okay, well, this might be going bad. So I might just go ahead and start using it now, actually. But that's that on that. <laughs> My bad. So that's everything that I have left over from fall. And that's everything that I have to talk about, about upcoming fall. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you're just as excited as me for fall. I actually have a few um, reward coupons on the app that I really want to redeem in store once all this stuff gets put on the site. So I really hope that they do put it online June, I think they said July 6th to the 11th is the um, summer three set that comes out, floor set. And um, my coupon I think expires on the 19th. So hoping that that works out and I can get it then and get it for free. Um, and I will be picking up pumpkin pecan waffles. I think that's what I'm gonna pick up with my coupon. So, but that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.